Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make Turkish pizza. Let's get started. First thing you'll need is some mince, a sweet red pepper, one medium onion, chopped parsley, and your spice mix. This is two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic granules, and one teaspoon of salt and pepper. You'll also need one tin of chopped tomatoes. So you just want to roughly chop your onion and place it into a food processor. We just want to blitz this until it is not quite fine and just place that into a large bowl. Next you want to roughly chop your sweet red pepper and like our onion we're just going to give this a quick blitz. We don't want the pieces to be too small. And again, add them into the bowl with your onions. Add in about half of your chopped tomatoes. And your spice mix. Add two teaspoons of your chopped parsley. and give those all a good mix. So you just want to add in your mince and obviously this is when things start to get messy. You just want to mix these up with your hand but I'm not going to show you that because you don't need to see me mixing mince. So once you have that all mixed up well, just cover it with some cling film and you can place that into the fridge while your dough is being made. Now for this recipe, you will need to follow my pizza dough recipe, which I'll add a link to up in the corner if you want to go and watch that. So once your dough is ready, you just want to lightly dust a clean surface with some flour and lay your dough down on the table. So I cut this into small pieces of dough, roughly about a, probably just bigger than a golf ball, and I squeeze the dough through my thumb and index finger to form a nice little ball and I place that onto a oiled plate. So once you have all your dough balls ready, I leave them to sit for maybe an hour just to rest and as you can see here, I had a little bit of dough left over, so what I did was I made that into a pizza. And, th and if you have any dough left over, the dough can be used after at least or the most three days in the fridge. So again, I'm lightly flouring my surface. You take a rolling pin and just roll the dough out as flat as you can. I'm also flouring my pizza paddle just so that it doesn't stick to when I go to slide it into the oven. So I should say at this stage you should be preheating your oven to at least 250 degrees celsius. So you should take your mince and pat it evenly across the top of your dough 
not quite out to the edges, but as close as you can get. So now that that's done, I like to give the pizza a little slide on the paddle just to make sure it's not stuck. So for this, you need to use at least a flat tray to cook the pizza on. I use a pizza tray which I stick into the oven while I'm preheating it so it's nice and hot. If the oven is hot enough, these pizzas should just take about 5 minutes. So that's it guys. For serving, I love to squeeze some lemon juice. And also, if you want to keep them hot, just cover them with a clean tea towel. And that's it guys, that's how easy it is. Thanks very much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon.